So you got a shorter side and a longer one. Yeah, you're tying off at the handle here. So this knot that I'm doing is um, deemed to be 80, oh, sorry, 70% the strength of the wire, which isn't too bad. It doesn't slip, and you can use it on short strings, and it comes up pretty neat. That's how fast it is when you can do it well. Well, it's quicker than putting in a crump or anything, you know? Yeah. And, um... My wire strainers are rusty because nobody seems to be able to build good wire strainers these days that don't slip. So, yeah, show it again. Uh, slower. Slower? Yeah. So that I can, oh. Okay. What you Yeah, around the first and then a loop and around the second. Him. Each of these wires is uh, tension to around 150 kgs, and I'm pretty confident that this particular fence will stay that tight for the next 30 years because um, we've used 2.7 metre strainers all driven, all the foots are driven. Yep. And um, so here we're just at a corner, it's going from. This is about halfway down the line. Yeah, halfway. About. Um, from up there somewhere. Industry standard yep. is for these these lines to actually be tied off on the strainer so that there's no um, knots in the line except for joining knots of wire where your coil runs out. Mm -mm. But um, that's good and and I do tie off a lot of fences in that manner. But uh, this works really well on a long strain. You need to get even tension from both ends. And like I say, the knot is um, pretty strong, and it doesn't slip. See this? No sharp edges on it or nothing like that. Yep. And um, it'll be fine. It'll stay here for years. Then you gotta put some buttons on everywhere. Three, three for every panel. Yeah. So this is a nine wire fence and it's a pretty standard fence for New Zealand conditions. I really like it because uh, by the time you put three battens on this fence, there ain't nothing going to put its head through it and hassle it. And it's tight, tight like a guitar, you know. And um, they ain't going to get through this ever. And then that means that I can finish this job and walk away and she'll be as good as you like, you know? Yeah. Those were the five first and the last four in here. Yep. Yep. I set the strainers so that um, all the knots fall in a row as good as you can get but the reason for that is when we come to batten this fence there's going to be a batten here and another one here so all of those knots are going to fall um, down in the middle and it's not hard to change the um, 